ever wanted to know how to use the camera sensors here to do people count with your Microsoft Teams room panel outside the room. So let's check it out. Here we have all my rooms in Exchange and I've got capacity six. So I've got my room controller and I've got my panel outside the room. So what I need to do, you can do things like room equipment, you set that up in Exchange as well. But here, what I do is go into my device settings and then Teams admin settings, put in my password, and then you'll see I've got some options. I now go to device pairing and it's looking for the same device that's signed in. I click on there. And thankfully, due to neat pulse, I don't even need to be in the room because I've got full control over the controller, the front of room display, and also the pad outside the room. So I can see here, I've got all my devices in the room listed. There we go, all devices in that same room. Anyway, so I input this number up here. This is a one-time thing you need to do. Once it's done, it remembers it. So now it pairs with the device on your controller outside the room. All set, thumbs up. Now, what we need to do is now go into uh, meetings and you see we've got a few new options here now. So you can send in check-in notifications. So when I check in on the panel, it will send that to the front of room display and max room occupancy notifications. So I can do that. So you get a few extra features now once you enable the pairing and this is only Android to Android. So this will not work with Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows, only on the Android platform. So now what happens is if you ever have a meeting and um, capacity notifications will appear up here but also on the front of room display you'll get a message banner at the top saying meeting room at capacity so that's a quick tip on how to use neat devices with camera sensors for people counting with microsoft teams and the same also works with zoom rooms too follow for more tips